Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about the iPhone battery. Now, of course, all of us want to have more battery on our iPhone. We want it to last through the day, but of course, that is a problem for everyone. Now, the iPhone battery sometimes drains really, really fast and there are a lot of factors that will make your iPhone's battery drain really, really fast. So in this video, we're going to talk about a few of those, maybe basically the biggest ones, the biggest factors that will drain the battery of your iPhone. And of course, I will also show you guys a few fixes and tips that should help improve your battery's life. And of course, make your iPhone's battery drain slower. So here are five biggest factors that will drain the battery of your iPhone and of course the fixes for all of them. Now the first thing I'm going to talk about is poorly coded apps. There are a lot of apps on the App Store and some of them are really poorly coded. Basically they will drain the battery of your iPhone but thankfully there is a way to see which apps are draining your battery the most and you can do that simply by going to the settings of your iPhone go to battery and right here we'll see a list of the apps that are consuming more battery on your iPhone. Now here you can see a list, I have a list here. So Instagram is the first one. It doesn't mean that that app is bad because I use it for a longer time. So just go ahead and tap on show like activity right there and you can see how for how much time you have used that app. So basically, if you see an app right here that you have used for a shorter time, but it has consumed a ton of battery, that means that the app is poorly coded. Of course, you can use like a game that's a heavy game or like a heavy app that you do like editing or stuff. But if it's just like a simple app or a simple game and it's consuming way more battery than the others, then you will have to know that that's a poorly coded app or game and you can probably find a solution like you can find a replacement for that app on the app store because of course there are a ton of other apps that can replace that one and hopefully they are more like better made and will consume less battery on your iPhone. So one of the biggest battery drainers on your iPhone is poorly coded apps and games. So be aware of them. Go ahead, check the battery levels right here on the battery section on the settings app and you will see which apps are consuming more battery on your iPhone. Another huge factor on battery draining is the temperature in which you use your iPhone. Now, of course, now it's winter time, it's colder and your battery will drain faster. You will notice that if you use your iPhone outside in the cold, it will drain the battery faster. Now, the comfort zone for your iPhone is between 32 and 95 degrees. That's Fahrenheit. That's between zero and 35 degrees on Celsius. So that's like the comfort zone and that's the temperature in which you should be using your iPhone. It's if it's below zero or below 32 Fahrenheit, you better not use your iPhone or just make sure you use it for less time as possible because that will drain your battery really, really quick. Also, heat is not good for the battery of your iPhone, especially if you're using like cases that will heat up your iPhone. You will have to be aware of that. So if you have a case on your iPhone and you notice that the battery is getting hot, you better remove that case from your iPhone because of course that will also drain the battery of your iPhone. Now, of course, the biggest consumer of the battery on the iPhone and other devices as well is the display. Now the display will take most of the power out of the battery, but there are a lot of things that you can do in order to make your display consume less battery. Now if you have a device with an OLED display, that's like an iPhone 10, the iPhone 10s, 10s Max, and of course the iPhone 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max, those are the newer devices that have the OLED display. That means that Every pixel that is on the screen that is black is turned off. It's not like showing a black color is completely turned off. That way it will consume way less power out of your battery. So the a good thing that you can do is like use a black wallpaper or even a darker wallpaper that has like a few like black spots on it. That way it will consume less battery when you're like on the home screen here and all those pixels are turned off. And of course, using the new dark mode on iOS 13 will also help a lot. Now, this has been tested and I have seen videos showing better results of battery life, of course, when having dark mode on. Of course, with darker places on the display, with more pixels turned off, that way the display will consume way less power and will, of course, increase the battery life 
of your device now another thing that i've seen a lot of people do is not enabling brightness auto brightness on their iphone now the brightness of the display of course is a huge factor when it comes to draining battery keep the auto brightness on so let's say you're outside and you just turn up the brightness all the way up you go inside and you still have it all the way up that just consuming a ton of battery having auto brightness on will of course help a lot and it will also help your eyes because it will adapt the brightness of the display based on the brightness basically on the light of the ambient you're on and there are of course other stuff that you can enable or disable right here so on the display and brightness section on the settings app you can go ahead and enable auto lock that's really really good because if you leave your phone somewhere and it stays unlocked that will of course consume a ton of battery so you just keep it at 30 seconds that way it will be locked and turn off the display automatically you will also have rise to wake now this is like a good feature to have it's kind of cool but if you keep it on it will consume more battery as it's always working in the background detecting your movement in order to wake up the screen of your iphone the fourth factor which has like a huge role on draining the battery of your iphone is the cellular connectivity and of course the wi-fi now if you go out somewhere like hiking or somewhere and you know that on that area the coverage is poor the cellular coverage make sure you put your iphone on airplane mode leaving your iphone like the cellular on and trying to connect all the time your iphone will be all the time trying to connect to a poor like signal it will just consume a ton of battery that's one of the biggest like battery drainers on the iphone and of course the same with the wi-fi so if you have like a wi-fi where the signal is really really bad the iphone will try to keep on just connect it to the wi-fi that way it will also drain a lot of battery so make sure you just disconnect from like poor signal connections that be like wi-fi or even cellular just make sure you disconnect your iphone better than it will drain all the battery out of your iphone and fifth but not least the biggest battery drainer on your iphone is the settings app not the app itself but the settings that you have configured now there are a lot of settings that will just drain the battery out of your iphone and of course you can configure them not to do that let's start off with the notifications now i have seen a lot of people just keeping notifications on for all the apps like i have like apps and games here that ask me to send notifications and i don't even need their notifications so of course i will turn them off and only leave them on for like apps and games that i need to have notifications on so basically all the apps that i don't need their notifications i just go ahead and completely turn them off that way i will just preserve the battery of my iphone not having all those notifications coming in all the time another thing is on under privacy of course location services for most of the time i keep this completely off because when i don't need it i don't need it to have it on of course it will just consume battery every time i open an app that uses location services it will just consume a battery and location services does com consume a ton of battery as well so you don't need to leave it on all the time if you don't need to use it otherwise if you just don't want to turn it off go ahead and turn it off for the apps that you know you don't need it make sure you turn it off for those apps otherwise if you don't really need it at all turn it off completely that's really good to do as well and of course also background app refresh which can found under general so go to general go to background app refresh and you will have a list of all the apps of course you won't need all the apps to be refreshing in the background all the time so make sure you turn them off and leave on just those that you need to now you can also completely turn it off by going to set the background app refresh right here we'll have the option to turn it off completely but of course you don't want to do that you have some apps that you want to have they're like refreshing in the background so you can leave them on right here and turn off all the other ones as well another thing you can turn off is found here under privacy so go to privacy and scroll down here to motion and fitness and you will have here fitness tracking now if you don't use fitness tracking you don't use like the health app or the activity tracker all the stuff on your apple watch just go ahead and turn it off completely this will of course consume a ton of battery as it's always tracking your movement so make sure you turn it off 
and of course another thing here under Siri so go to Siri and search and you will find here listen for hey Siri now Siri will be all the time like here it goes off on my iPad right there let me just turn this off oh my god so this will basically just always listen for your voice to say that word which I'm not gonna say because it will go off again so Make sure to turn that off so it doesn't consume battery in the background in the meantime. The same with the new feature called voice control which is found under accessibility. So here's voice control. If you keep it on, it will keep that like little microphone right there at the top. You can turn it on or off. So you can activate it using your voice and of course that's all the time working in the background waiting for your command. That of course will consume a ton of battery as well. So make sure you have that off as well. So that's it for this video guys, these are some of the biggest battery drainers on your iPhone and of course these are a few tips, tricks and also like fixes that will help you stop the battery drain on your iPhone and hopefully get a full day of battery on your iPhone. So that's basically it, thank you guys for watching, I hope this video will help out you get a better battery life on your iPhone. Thank you for watching again and I will see you guys on the next one.